السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Today inshallah we'll speak about Fuse Barankaimal Lung Disease I want to be a lung disease Our objective to the, uh, definition, classification, diagnostic approach to the interstitial lung disease, clinical presentation, physical examination, investigation, and the management. Of course, the airway divided into more than 23 divisions, segmental bronchi and subsegmental bronchi to alveolar duct. 23 degeneration beyond the trachea, dichotomous, dichotomous asymmetric bronchi, طبعا نحكي هنا برونكار او برونكاي if there is cartilage supporting the wall and it will be more than the diameter more than 1 millimeter bronchiole if there is no cartilage and it is less than the diameter less than 1 millimeter and it will be rarely visible 1 centimeter from the pleural surface Secondary lobule, the basic anatomical unit of the lung structure, موجودة في lung, around تقريبا one to two centimeter. This is all this consider secondary lobule, surrounded by connective tissue, supplied by small bronchiole, small bronchiole. That is barreled by central lobular artery. وزي ما احنا شايفين هنا في ال artery it's blue in color. A pulmonary vein and lymphatic system. اللي باللون الأصفر هذا and run in the periphery. After twenty three division of the trachea. The terminal bronchiole, the last contacting airway. Adi have the respiratory bronchiole. Adi have alveolar duct with alveolar sacs. The difference between all these, the terminal bronchiole, it's contacting airway, not functional. So there is no oxygen uptake and carbon dioxide production the respiratory bronchiole it's partially alveolated wall partially alveolated wall that is alveolar duct completely alveolated wall we see we have functional zone well alveolar sacs it is a cluster of alveoli we tell secondary lobules as we are seeing 1 to 2 cm supplied by the small bronchiole and barreled by artery and the, uh, the lymphatic runs and the periphery. Bittali, to understand the pathophysiology of interstitial lung disease, the basic concept here any disease caused by inhalation of small antigen like the people who work in the world and work in the world they can inhale the small antigen and the disease in the center of the secondary lobule and the other thing حاجة اسمها Centrolobular Area Inflammation أو Centrolobular Nodule which is the بيجي في السنتر هنا it is the site of pathology that enter the lung through the airway وممكن يكون disease perilymphatic perilymphatic around the secondary lobule اللي هم the site of disease that located in the lymphatic system طبعا اللوبيلر ارتري 1 ملم ان دياميتر 
the pulmonary vein 0.5 millimeter well interlobular septum this is secondary lobule and this is another secondary lobule interlobular septum تقريبا 0.1 millimeter very thin one the lung nodule appear as multiple around opacity that have soft tissue density and are smaller than 3 cm and a very important concept lung nodule if it is less than 3 cm more than 3 cm it is soft tissue mass the small nodule or micro nodule are those of less than 1 cm in diameter in a picture of CAT scan, as we see here, multiple centrolobular nodules, yani jaya, the center of secondary lobule, the tally, inhalation of the antigen or inhalation of the dust of the silica. Sometimes an infectious process, so the disease caused by inhalation through the airway. Tell it to Amalina Haja Simha, central lobular nodule, which is very characteristic of hypersensitivity in pneumonitis or HP. Another distribution, a random distribution. Small nodule or micro nodule less than one millimeter or centimeter distributed in the secondary lobule uniformly disseminated through the lung. طبعا uh, disease can be disseminated through the blood, not through the airway. We tell you it reaches the lung through the blood, give us a miliary shadow. Uh, which is characteristic of tuberculosis or histoplasmosis as we see here randomly distributed micronodule uh, this is a CT scan of the patient this is put, uh, positive for uh, HIV CD4 count was uh, 140 so the radial immunodiffusion was positive also so he's uh, also positive for histoplasmosis uh, and this is another picture also typical for miliary shadow in patients with tuberculosis. The disease really can affect the perilymphatic, yani around the secondary lipule, uh, lymphangitis carcinomatosis, uh, silicosis, sarcoidosis can be presented in the perilymphatic nodule. And here, the picture here, yani the lymphatic system. Peripronchial or peripronchovascular nodule, subplural, sometimes also subplural here, in the periphery, subplural nodule, which is a case of pulmonary sarcoidosis. So, interstitial lung disease, the name of the diffuse parenchymal lung disease, because uh, it is favored worldwide. Now, uh, know this disorder of uh, interstitial lung disease associated with extensive alteration of the alveolar and the airway architecture. So, uh, diffuse parenchymal lung disease is a favorable uh, nomenclature uh, as a generic term of this disorder. There is 200 disease can co result in diffuse parenchymal lung disease. 31% per 100,000 in men, were 26 in women. We have encountered 15% of our daily practice interstitial lung disease patient. We have a wide spectrum of diffuse parenchymal lung disease. There is occupational lung disease, drug-related lung disease, 
sometimes idiopathic interstitial pneumonia or diffuse parenchymal lung disease associated with connective tissue disease and other systemic disease occupational or inhaled other inhaled organic agent the most common is the HP or hypersensitivity pneumonitis paired fancier lung farmer lung mild worker coffee worker lung sometimes nasal stone cutter or silicosis asbestosis inhaled of inorganic agent a collagen vascular disease or connective tissue disease like SLE rheumatoid arthritis scleroderma ankylosing spondylitis Jogren syndrome all these can result in interstitial lung disease also drug related chemotherapy like pleomycin methotrexate alphenitone amiodarone is the most common antiarrhythmic drugs can result in interstitial lung disease in addition to the antibiotics like nitroferentoin sulfasalazine and gold sometimes radiation cancer patient who underwent radiation can result in having radiation pneumonitis and uh, uh, interstitial lung disease sometimes it would be it is the most common cause of unilateral lung fibrosis and in addition to the primary disease sarcoidosis amyloidosis LAM and lymphangitis carcinomatosis can be presented as interlobular septal thickening where misnomer or misdiagnosed as diffuse parenchymal lung disease like it is uh, uh, diagnosis is lymphangitis carcinomatosis uh, a lot of patient they diagnose them as diffuse parenchymal lung disease they start them in a steroid worsening symptoms and uh, uh, as we know that this patient we should receive chemotherapy for the primary disease vasculitis is church strauss and wagner the xenophenic granulomatosis with polyangitis or granulomatosis with polyangitis idiopathic pneumonia idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis can assume has sabic cryptogenic fibrosing alveolitis and non-specific in the pneumonia cryptogenic organizing pneumonia acute interstitial pneumonia respiratory bronchitis interstitial lung disease and this primitive interstitial pneumonia and lymph and uh, lymphocytic interstitial pneumonia diagnostic approach first of all history 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 onset it's chronic the nasal and home idiopathic interstitial pneumonia or sarcoidosis acute or subacute which is most common here in Gaza the nasal daimen and home the wage in fill bed or and home to your as a fear I do like only at home because I know high risk to develop HP طبعا في الفيميل most common it is not common but it can affect the female rather than male lamb lymphangioleomyomatosis طبعا الاج بيلعب دور كبير idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis affect patient more than 50 55 in elderly while in younger patient sarcoidosis is most common connective tissue disease related interstitial lung disease also most common occupational history ناس اللي بيشتغلوا في الاسمنت ستون كاتر تشاب يارد هذول كلياتهم بصير عندهم interstitial lung disease so occupational history is very important while you are taking the history the environment pets contact humidifier and cooling system smoking history can alter interstitial lung disease واحدة من ال and the risks to develop idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis 
الفاميلي هيستوري ساركيدوزيز الاي بي اف كان بانز ان فاميلي سيستميك ديزيز اند كارنت اند بريفيوس ميديكيشن از فيري امبورتنت ان هيستوري تيكينج طبعا في عندنا ديوريشن اوف انترستيال لانج ديزيز في الاكيوت سب اكيوت والكرونيك الاكيوت دائما بتكون في الناس اللي عندهم اتش بي كان بريزنتد از اكيوت دايز تو ويك كوب كريبتوجينيك اورجانيزنج نيمونيا اولسو اكيوت ايزونوفيليك نيمونيا اكيوت ايديوباثيك انترستيال نيمونيا والكرونيك دائما بيكون طبعا ميجورتي اوف ذا ديزيز It's a chronic disease, chronic devastating, IBF, sarcoid, Langerhans cell histocytosis. Well, acute HB can result in subacute if not treated or detected early, will result also in chronic hypersensitivity pneumonitis. Familial IBF, yes, there is familial IBF. MUC5P gene mutation can result in familial IBF. And when we see people, we check them by CT, CAT scan, characteristic idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis or IBF. This is always affect, as we know, it's elderly patient, more than 60, 55. But sometimes we find these characteristic finding in their CT scan in younger age. So how? We have to look for the familial idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. طبعا كل الجين فاسكولار ديزيز ساركيدوزيز اللام والاستوسايتوزيز also affect before the age of 40. After age of 50, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is most common. A race also very important. Sarcoidosis occur 10 to 12 fold among plaques. Or African origin. The patient, of course, usually present with progressive exertional dyspnea, persistent dry cough. Sometimes hemoptysis in patient with alveolar hemorrhage or pulmonary vascular disease, pleuritic chest pain in collagen vascular disease, wheeze in patient with Churg-Strauss syndrome, and auscultation bilateral. Fine end inspiratory crepitation. Fine end inspiratory crepitation. Or sometimes squeaks. Doesn't it change with cough? When you ask the patient to cough, then you re-auscultate the patient. The crepitation will not change. Fine end inspiratory Crepitation at the late of inspiratory phase doesn't it change with cough? Soft, high pitch sound. Finger clapping. Finger clapping in a chronic disease it account most uh, 25 to 50 percent. Cyanosis and long standing disease can result in corbalmonal and right side heart failure. This is the velcro. Now, we'll show you the last step. Either this mouth, fine end inspiratory crepitation. You have to check for DVLD or possibility of diagnosis of DVLD. Hala el pulmonary edema can cause fine crackles. Yes, can cause, but mid to late, mid to late inspiratory crepitation. How to differentiate between coarse and fine crackles? Coarse crackles usually harsh and it started from early inspiratory phase or usually it changed with cough if you ask the patient to cough they can disappear or change in the sound or character this is also by basal fine in inspiratory crepitation physical exam طبعا في الفيزيكال اكزام يو هاف تو تشيك فور فيزيكال ساينز ذات ريليتد تو ذا انترستيشال لانج ديزيز جوترنز بابيول هيليو تريبراش جوينت انفلاميشن ميكانكس هاند مسل ويكنس هذه كلياتها كود بي بريزنتد ان انتيتي 
like anti synthetase syndrome as we see here heliotrop rash mechanics crack cracks in the in the in the hand like uh, mechanics hand anti synthetase syndrome inflammatory muscle so you can diagnose the patient with interstitial lung disease by just looking to his hand interstitial lung disease renal phenomena arthritis cutaneous manifestation and a positive uh, antibody to antigo 1 antibody this is also diagnostic approach systemic sign and diffuse parenchymal lung disease uveitis can be present in sarcoidosis and causing spondylitis arthritis rheumatoid hand also can present it associated with diffuse parenchymal lung disease diagnostic approach laboratory test ايش بنطلب لهم فحوصات Sometimes we can request ESR to check for connective tissue disease, autoantibody, RF, and CCP antibody to the organic test. If we mean some extrinsic allergic alveolitis, or which is called the old name, and the new one is HB, we have a hypersensitivity panel. Can be requested in the sera or can be requested in the uh, precipitant to detect the antibody to organic dust, uh, anticytoplasmic antibody, vasculitis, ANCA, C ANCA, B ANCA, LACE, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor to be elevated in patients with sarcoidosis, and cellular analysis. لما نعمل برونكوسكوب نعمل برونكو الفولر لوفاج sometimes give us also cellular pattern or predominant in the برونكو الفولر لوفاج it's lymphocyte predominant which is good prognostic factor and steroid responsive rather than neutrophilic predominant in برونكو الفولر لوفاج which is a bad prognostic and it is denoting steroid resistant in the bronchoalveolar lavage, around the bronchoscope, we can wedge it onto the subsegmental level. Then we inject normal saline. Then we aspirate and to check for the bronchoalveolar lavage uh, cellular pattern. We can send for also for an infection, bacterial infection, also TB workup. Transbronchial biopsy also can be done to, for diagnostic approach. As we know, 200 disease. There is 200 disease can cause interstitial lung disease. Some disease can be diagnosed by just looking to the CT scan. Give a characteristic finding, so support the diagnosis without biopsy. If the CAT scan did not give us any clue for the diagnosis, then we have to take a biopsy tissue is the issue so biopsy from the lung can be taken through the bronchoscope or open lung biopsy the open lung biopsy uh, sometimes more accurate because we uh, large uh, tissue uh, can be taken so for very easy for the histopathologist to give us a final diagnosis <coughs> The radiology, chest X-ray, sometimes be normal. In 10% of the diffuse parenchymal lung disease, normal chest X-ray. The gold standard HRCT, high resolution CT scan chest, without contrast, to get a picture what's going on. طبعا the radiological pattern could be reticular shadow, nodular shadow. Reticular nodular shadow, alveolar shadow, pleural involvement, honeycombing, interlobular septal thickening, pain is secondary lipule, the septum, as we said, 0.1 millimeter thickness, 
ممكن يصير thickening more than 0.1 hilar lymphadenopathy supporting sarcoidosis وال anatomical distribution وهنا بيجي السؤال ايش اللي بيعمل upper loop or lower zone upper zone involvement reticular shadow or lower zone lung fibrosis upper zone preference الناس الناس عندهم موجودين دائما silicosis sarcoidosis HP Langer Hansel histocytosis respiratory bronchitis upper loop لما قلناها TB TB infectious disease can uh, affect uh, result in a scarring can affect upper loop also lower loop asbestosis can affect the lower loop predominant distribution aspiration chronic aspiration pneumonia ال IBF affecting the lower zone the pulmonary edema also lower zone this is not it doesn't belong to the lung fibrosis well connective tissue disease most of the connective tissue disease affecting the lower zone except ankylosing spondylitis drug related also affecting the lower zone drug induced lung fibrosis affecting the lower zone you know this is a picture of, of the patient who was diagnosed to have lung fibrosis by chest x-ray as you see here there is asbestos plaque diagnosed wrongly to have lung fibrosis and he took a lot of steroid without improvement he was complaining of exertional dyspnea orthopnea lower limb swelling picture of heart failure CT scan done for him and as we see here the pleural plaques and the lung is normal just ground glass appearance secondary to the alveolar filling with fluid and the patient improved after initiating him in Lasix طبعاً central distribution ولا peripheral distribution كيف يعني central central distribution يعني around the hilum around the lung or peripheral peripheral around the periphery هنا برضو very important clue the central distribution دائما is sarcoidosis cardiogenic pulmonary edema the peripheral distribution of photonegative pulmonary edema like الكو cryptogenic organizing pneumonia chronic eosinophilic pneumonia will you IP better هنا زي ما احنا شايفين linear shadow reticular reticular nodular or honeycombing طبعا curly B line curly A line this is a linear pattern seen where there is thickening of interleukin receptor ممكن تكون مش thickening only fluid there وهي picture of pulmonary edema Uh, and venous hypertension with distension of the lymphatics. In the curly B or curly A line. Curly B line. Curly B line in a variable preferring. This is curly A line. An idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis can be diagnosed only by looking to the high resolution CT scan. It's very characteristic, very important to know. Here, CAT scan. طبعا لما نشوف الشيست اكس ري فيرست lower zone predominant, lower zone reticular shadow involving the lower zone. The CT scan. Tractional bronchiectasis. معلم عليها بالسهل. Tractional bronchiectasis. Honeycombing. Multiple small cysts. 
involving predominantly the subpleural peripheral region of the lung, with tractional bronchitis, interlobular septal thickening, يعني بين اللوبيول والتو سكاندر لوبيول تاني سبتال تكنين interlobular septal thickening tractional bronchitis honeycombing all these finding characteristic of uh, طبعا uh, lower zone predominant of uh, without biopsy this is IBF idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis النديول شرحنا عنه انه قلنا بيكون usually Uh, small uh, uh, less than a uh, micronodule less than one centimeter one, uh, can be presented with one millimeter only a uh, miliary or uh, central lobular or a very bronchovascular pattern when differential diagnosis of nodular pattern in tertiary lung disease shrimp sarcoidosis histocytosis hp rheumatoid nodule Uh, mycobacterial infection, MITS can be presented as micronodule, metastasis, and uh, microlithiasis, alveolar uh, pneumoconiosis, silicosis, or cold water's lung. High attenuation pattern, well, like the GGOs. Diamond, Nisma, you know, there is a ground glass opacity. Ground glass opacity. Is my ground glass opacity? يعني partially filling of the alveoli by fluid by inflammatory cells whatever at least ما وصل ل dense consolidation هنا زي ما احنا شايفين هنا dense consolidation the ground glass you can see beyond the lung ولسه احنا ش نقدر شايفين ال ال bronchial airway ال بنشوف احنا لسه هنا شايفين كمان ال ال pulmonary artery and we still see the bronchial so it's still not reach the dense consolidation hazy increase in the lung obesity without obscuration of underlying vessels this is ggos ggos a lot of differential diagnosis partial filling of the air space interstitial thickening partial collapse of the alveoli you know the mahna shayfin for the ct scan ground glass opacification didn't reach the uh, stage of consolidation ممكن يكون بالمونر قديمة heart failure ممكن يكون early ARDS حاليا disease COVID-19 coronavirus infection can initial presentation where the sensitivity of detection of early infection By high resolution CT scan presented with early ground glass opacity, peripheral subpleural, or sensitivity actor in the PCR. يعني the PCR sensitivity of detecting COVID disease, تقريبا واحد وسبعين في المية. The high resolution CT scan with the ground glass opacity, peripheral subpleural sensitivity very high, to say less than seventy seven في المية. لكن differential diagnosis is a lot heart failure can present with GGOs pulmonary hemorrhage pneumonia viral mycoplasma acute isophenic pneumonia HP can present with uh, GGOs الكوب alveolar proteinosis and lung fibrosis where sometimes the bronchoalveolar carcinoma consolidation لما تصل مرحلة ال consolidation no this is pneumonia وبيكون characteristic air bronchogram sign هنا air bronchogram sign هاي زي ما احنا شايفين consolidation consolidation and the bronchial the proximal airway and there is still patent and open why this is characteristic of consolidation pneumonia present in this patient crazy paving crazy paving is a picture of refer to the appearance of a ground glass obesity with interlobular septal thickening between the secondary lobule في موجود thickening في interlobular septum crazy paving pattern على high resolution CT scan ممكن تكون في acute respiratory distress syndrome ممكن تكون موجودة في COVID disease bacterial pneumonia 
acute intestinal pneumonia or pulmonary alveolar proteinosis disease in a patient with pulmonary alveolar proteinosis and the crazy paving pattern will hear ground glass opacity interlobular septal thickening and his secondary lobule tailing was in this sort investigation of suspect interstitial lung disease history and clinical examination chest x-ray spirometry lung function طبعا السبيرومتري في المحاضره السابقه حيكون في الناس اللي هذول حيكون عندهم ريستريكتد لانج ديزيز واللانج فوليوم وليميتيشن اوف ديفيوجن كاباسيتي وديكريز ان ذا لانج فوليوم بلاد تيست نجيب لهم نعمل لهم الاوتوميون ورك اب بعديها في اي بي في اي يعني بالمونري سنتر في العالم لازم يكون هناك مالتي ديسبلينري تيم Multidisciplinary team is very important to diagnose interstitial lung disease. Pulmonologist, histopathologist, radiologist, thoracic surgeon for confirmation and diagnosis then management plan. طبعا دور ال histopathologist here to read the histopathology slide for diagnostic approach is very important to reach the diagnosis. The biopsy can be taken. by bronchoscope, transbronchial biopsy, or by open lung biopsy, uh, by surgical uh, lung biopsy, by thoracic surgeon, then MDT assessment, وبالتالي, to assess the severity, will exclude the complication, طبعاً, by our cardiologists for echocardiography, to exclude the late stage for the corbal monal, well, a specific investigation, sometimes, with treatment. الإديوباسيك بالمونري فايبروسيز مختلفة نحط في كلاسيفيكيشن طبعا هنا الحالات يعني this is a case of non specific interstitial pneumonia and this is cumulative cryptogenic ال IBF It is the most common interstitial lung disease. Clinical feature. طبعا ال idiopathic pulmonary أو idiopathic interstitial pneumonia. تقريبا ال including ال IBF including حوالي تقريبا خمسة وفي يعني idiopathic interstitial pneumonia خمسة وخمسين في المية IBF. والبقية other idiopathic interstitial pneumonia. The IBF 55%. Well, others could be non-specific, acute interstitial pneumonia, cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, respiratory bronchitis, interstitial lung disease, which most common in a smoker patient, discovered interstitial pneumonia, which most common in smoker, and lymphangitis, lymphocytic interstitial sorry lymphocytic interstitial pneumonia, which most common in Jogren syndrome and other idiopathic pulmonary. By process, it is irreversible. The IBF is an irreversible, progressive, unpredictable, and unlimiting, uh, ultimately fatal fibrotic interstitial lung disease of unknown etiology that lead to the progressive decline in the pulmonary function. Irreversible, unprogressive, and unpredictable. يعني physician cannot predict how quickly an IBF patient will progress on or off treatment. In idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, we have a lot of cases in Gaza. We have familial idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. زي ما حكينا في البداية MUC5P gene mutation. هذا اللي بيأثر على younger patient. We have طبعا تريتمنت في الحالات هاي we have only two two drugs FDA approved pyrifenidone and nintedinib only يعني اللي بيعطوا كالشيسين بريدنيزلون اميوران ان اسيتايل سيستين كلياتها is not effective هنحكي عنها ان شاء الله طبعا هنا this is the diabetic pulmonary fibrosis pathophysiology Five-year median survival in IBF is worse than for many cancer. It is a very devastating disease, the IBF. 
risk factor or possible etiology more like smoker could be uh, strongly uh, associated with IBR environmental pollution infection el GERD chronic GERD gas esophageal reflux disease can resulted in uh, micro injury and resulted as possible etiology of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis well genetic factor زي ما حكينا Uh, familial pulmonary fibrosis account for less than 5% of total pulmonary uh, of total population with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis it is a progressive fibrotic disease زي ما احنا شايفين هنا في establish the characteristic finding lower zone tractional bronchiectasis honeycombing interlobular septal thickening adequate characteristic of IBF no need for biopsy this is طبعا, uh, very important here to mention if we took biopsy for patient with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis biatina UIB usual interstitial pneumonia pattern as we see scattered fibrotic for focus you know fibrotic focus with uh, honeycombing can be also seen under microscopic examination pathogenesis of IBF environmental micro aspiration and this is the MUC 5 PG mutation that is account for less than 5% uh, of the total population of the IBF Gerd also one of the possible with smoking with depression. طبعا it is early diagnosis is needed and it is critical because average time to diagnosis is one to two years after the onset of symptoms. Fifty percent of these patients die within two to three years after the diagnosis. clinical finding history laboratory radiological examination and physiological evaluation physiologic evaluation pulmonary function test spirometric uh, examination resulted in a restrictive pattern reduced uh, diffusion capacity reduced lung volumes finger clubbing velcro or bibasal fine end inspiratory crepitation Common IBF misdiagnosed? Yes. That's Landhom COBD, congestive heart failure. Other lung disease or connective tissue disease misdiagnosed as IBF. للأسف, في a lot of patients diagnosed as IBF or wrongly or misdiagnosed. Lower zone predominant fibrosis. A differential diagnosis. طبعا ممكن يكون a lot of uh, uh, disease well, uh, end stage lung uh, sarcoidosis can uh, uh, present it like a picture of diabetic pulmonary fibrosis radiation pneumonitis HB or end stage or chronic hypersensitivity pneumonitis also can be uh, uh, differential diagnosis to IBF. MDT meeting is very important. Pulmonologist, radiologist, histopathologist for multidisciplinary diagnostic team. UIB pattern in high resolution CT scan is diagnostic and no need for lung biopsy. Subplural basal predominant reticular abnormality honeycombing with without attraction of bronchiectasis absence of feature listed as inconsistent with UIB pattern this is by the radiologist it is IBF no need for biopsy when as I'm 2011 American Thoracic Society will European Respiratory Thoracic Society statement 
UIP pattern, no need for biopsy. So, uh, because of the UIP pattern, fibroplastic uh, foci and uh, surgical and biopsy should be considered in the absence of the UIB pattern in high resolution CT scan. Management or treatment of lung fibrosis in general. In pneumoconiosis or core workup, remove from the exposure. In HB, remove from exposure, and sometimes we can use a corticosteroid. And collagen vascular disease, rheumatoid arthritis, LSLE, need a specific therapy of the disease. Drug reaction, removal from exposure. In lung fibrosis, the key factor here to detect the cause, diagnose, and removal from exposure as early as possible is the key factor for treating of lung fibrosis. Sarcoidosis can be also treated by corticosteroid. A lamb disease treated by serulimus, uh, vasculitic disease, corticosteroids, some uh, immunosuppressant, uh, alveolar proteinosis, bronchoalveolar lavage, L IBF, nentadenib, and pyrifenidone, where uh, the steroid sometimes can be useful in eosinophilic pneumonia. Prednisolone, azathioprine, emuran, in acetylcysteine is not recommended in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Nentadenib, levotyrosine kinase inhibitor, and impulses 1 and impulses 2 trials. It's very important uh, uh, to uh, yani, uh, start the patient as early as possible, uh, uh, almost greater than. 10% absolute decline in force vital capacity over the 52 weekly study. So, uh, 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 approved FDA for treatment of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Uh, and this is side effect can cause GI symptoms, diarrhea, followed by nausea. Pyrifenidone also, it's antifibrotic property, decreasing the fibroplastic proliferation. Pyrifenidone nintadinib. Doesn't cure IBF, like in host, uh, holding the process, yani, uh, uh, process or progression of the disease, uh, slowing uh, uh, progression. Uh, uh, this is the only the uh, medication uh, FDA approved for IBF, hosting the process of fibrosis. As sent the trial. Sometimes an anti acid with BBI proton pump inhibitor for treatment of GERD. The theory is that IBF resulted from GERD. Um, anti high pulmonary in patient with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, sometimes presented with pulmonary hypertension. We tell you, this patient. Consider group 3 pulmonary hypertension with treatment and who uh, should be concentrated and focused in treatment of the lung the process is sildenafil, antihypertensive medication, uh, pulmonary hypertension medication is uh, uh, should not be used. Pulmonary rehabilitation program, education, and support also important. In conclusion, IBF is. Uh, a diverse of range of disorder, histological lesion, uh, histological lesion associated with each IB, uh, idiopathic uh, pulmonary fibrosis or uh, may occur in the constant of defined disease uh, diagnosis management should be uh, need uh, multidisciplinary team best treatment depend on the, the clinical context and disease behavior. Or we have any. آه انهي هذه المحاضرة آه ويعني في الأول والأخير lung fibrosis is uh, very important حوالي تقريبا 15% from our daily practice we encounter a patient with idiopathic or diffuse parenchymal lung disease history 
physical exam, radiological laboratory, multidisciplinary team management, and treatment is very, very uh, advocated in this. Thank you.